Never. It goes to a time where we were not seeing, uh, you know, blood. And then I decided to try out my fingers. This was the magic. Trust me, the magic that literally worked for us was that we tried out the fingers. Yeah. Wash them clean. Yeah. And then tried out the fingers. The small one first went ah uh, no pain. You say no pain. Okay, good. Try one more. I had it another finger. That. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel with Gracious right here on Zion TV Africa guys yesterday's video was so informative and juicy but today's one is packed with information the part two is very packed with information yesterday I promised you that I'll bring you the part two today and here is the part two of this video the stalwart lovers and whatever happens on your first night of wedding and the juicy stuff seriously these guys are just doing amazing and breaking everything down to the lowest level of understanding for everybody thank you guys for liking sharing and uh, i want to see more of your views in the comment section thank you so much for staying tuned and staying glued to zion tv africa more juicy stuff coming your way thank you so much without much ado let's get straight into this video real quick let's watch let's continue the part two of the star wars lovers journey or our first night let's go Kissy. And if you are, your veil is not broken or you are married someone whose veil is not broken, take lessons from this video. Yes. They will not tell you this one in marriage counseling. I know that one for sure. Yes. Sir. So let's go into deeper things. We were able to press it when we saw the blood. We were able to, you know, feel more encouraged. Like, okay, I think we are getting somewhere. Yeah. And that was what really paved the way. The blood paved the way. Yes. And the anointing. We tried olive oil at one time. So the anointing broke the yoke and the blood paved the way. And <laughs> guess what this my husband not to me you're not like <laughs> if you guys have watched the video or the old milk ice cream argument blah blah blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where you see his point <laughs> so i was like babe you know what let's do this thing now i want to i want to fly i want to go to jerusalem i want to land <laughs> and let's do this like married couples do i was like i mean i was already I was already used up there overnight trying and trying. I just By like, this okay. time, we have been able to press him. I, I was just like, okay, alright, let's do this. As a, it wasn't like uh, that I would, that if I were able to do this <laughs> now, this next time, if I were able to do it and I will, you know, get there, that I'll buy you ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no. I can't believe I, I said that. Have been loud. I remember I'm just like, are you I really said I'll buy you ice cream. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you said you buy me ice cream. So you can know that ice cream is one of our cheat codes. Mm, but it wasn't a no. bribe, it was also encouraging. Like, encouragement. See, don't worry, go through this pain. I'll spoil you tomorrow. Spoiling. Spoilers. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so that was it was that was it me So like, okay. eventually we landed. I'm not sure if she landed, but I landed <laughs> one way or the other in Jerusalem. I recorded it at night. Yeah, and then I it's a day. I woke up at five. So we tried it, yeah, like seven there about. So we relaxed, got breakfast and stuff yeah. like that, relaxed and went home. Yeah. Literally. Now, life after is the most important thing. And this is where we're gonna come with the lessons we learned mm -hmm. and how what you can draw out from our experience. Yeah. The first thing is that be patient. Be brothers. patient, brothers. All these Jim Jim brothers, the energy you use when you are praying in talks, shata kappa, that's not the energy you are going to use when you are flying to Jerusalem the first time. Please, don't. Uh, hey, it's not. Have mercy on her. Have mercy on the sister. You understand? That's not the time for you to fly yet. It's time to be as gentle as dove. You understand? As gentle as dove. As wise as the And you will be as, as obedient as, as a yeah. sheep. If she says stop, you pause. If you say go for that, you go for that. If she says rewind, you rewind. If she says get out, you get out. <laughs> Anything she doesn't say. If she says you should not do something and you do it, you are literally <laughs> violating. Guys, if you are finding value in this video, please do me a favor. Do this channel a favor by subscribing and hitting the like button. It goes a very long way to help the channel and help the YouTube algorithm to recommend the video to 
other people to watch this is a lot of value right here if you are getting that value from this video do that favor for me because she is going to be in some pain. serious pain and you need to be empathic she needs to know like there are times when she will cry to a point and i'll just say you know what just stop and i'll just hold her close to me and i'll just encourage her and tell her that see this is going to pass this is just the price we have to pay this you know just encourage her she'll be like okay okay well, let's try again like literally so you have to be patient yeah i was patient throughout like i didn't even know how i was able to get myself to be standing on the, promises, the promises of god, of god. <laughs> all through all the coming and stopping and leaving and continuing and I, I was still standing. See, brothers, having done her, you have to what? Stand. Efficient. You know, you know that scripture? <laughs> having done her, brothers, you have to what? Stand. Start. Yes. So I, I was still standing. You know, contrary to my fear that two minutes, everything has burst. No, brother was still standing. Sister was in pain, brother was standing. <laughs> As in, you know. And that's the beautiful thing, guys. See, this whole thing, this dinner we are eating, this. Journey to Jerusalem. I think so, there, was, there was a question that someone asked that. Okay. Was it awkward or how was it? Oh no, it? it wasn't awkward. Honestly <laughs> speaking, even though it was challenging, it was beautiful. We knew we are both in this together. Yes, it was beautiful. And it was still like, wow, so I get to do this. That's the beauty of waiting till the right time. No shame, no guilt. You know, there might be little times that something just dropped in my heart that. What are you doing? Should you be doing this? I'm like, yes, I oh, should. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> I should be doing this. You know. So it's it's so beautiful, and we really encourage every youth, every young person out there. Wait. Yeah. Trust me, it pays to wait. That first time can be like we explained. It could even be better for you, mm -hmm. and it could be worse. But it's going to happen only once. <laughs> and that's one thing you need to know. So take the pain, prepare your mind, take the pain to do with that, yeah. that once. And that's a lesson. Don't be dragging, don't be saying, ah, it's paining me, let's try tomorrow. And then next time tomorrow, and you're frustrating the brother. Even you, you're feeling frustrated. Mm -hmm. Do your best to take the pain. Mm -hmm. Like she had to put clothes in her mouth, like, hey, at a time. <laughs> and I was all putting it myself. <laughs> yeah. I there are times when well, she will tell me to press in. And while I try to press in, she will rush out. Like if there was no wall behind that, she will have run away literally doing like this really it was that bad but in the end it was worth it yeah. when we got home we could try again with lesser pain although the pain would fade off gradually gradually that's one thing you need to know it's yes. not just oh that one's and that's all or yes yes less three times and that's all no, it's, yes it reduces as the weeks go by as the months go by in fact no not even months by the time you are like a week done you are already getting good just need to heal up because there may be sore guys these are things no marriage counselor will tell you some uh -huh. even few only few will tell you so if you are getting it here for free take it into your mind as a youth getting ready for marriage or a new couple watching this video yeah let's go yeah, and then and yeah. they're good. So, Peter and Brother James, all of you that have strength in your bowels, the time for strength to come. When she can handle that strength, yeah. no matter how strong you can go, she will be able to handle it. But at the initial first stages, she will not be able to handle it. So, you have to be patient and be, you know, be temperate. All right? Yeah, be temperate in all things. In all things. Finally, my brethren, it's important, uh, and this is still back to the brothers, it's important how you treat your wife those first period yeah as i was talking about if she says stop stop if she says don't stop don't stop if she says pause pause she says go back go back because if the experience is too painful and you are not considerate in that period she can have ptsd from it and whenever she thinks about this act of eating dinner going to jerusalem she will be afraid yeah. And it will take you a long time to get through that, to get out of that. So it's important that you set the pace. Mm -hmm. And whenever you are remind, you're reminding her, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You know, but I used to tell her something. After this period, whenever I want to start again, it's still always a challenge. You still need to use maybe lubricants or something to slide, to go in really slowly. Mm -hmm. But once we are on board on the airplane, what do I used to tell you? Welcome to Pleasure Island. <laughs> Welcome to Pleasure Island. It just helps to tell that see you're about to receive the pleasure of your life. 
you know so it's important the mindset that you both have towards eating dinner going to jail time is important so that it helps you to always come back together as husband and wife as regularly as possible this is our experience no single uh what you read or something we're telling you the real thing from our own experience so that is <laughs> guys <laughs> this is the end of the video and i hope you enjoyed it and this some lessons we have to take into consideration on the first night if you if you are the, you are the, if the guy have to be patient with the lady and then be be calm uh -huh. don't rush things because she may get ptsd from this uh -huh. whenever she remembers the act then she gets scared and afraid this can hurt your marriage and then lead to uh, something else yeah don't let your story be like other people's story listen to this and take it into consideration thank you so much for staying tuned up to this time subscribe to this channel if you find value in what we are doing on the on this channel the videos we are posting subscribe and hit the uh, like button and turn on the post notification icon to get more content coming your way this is zion tv africa here we do breakdowns like this and moral lesson videos to keep the morality uh, the morality level up uh -huh. as in society nowadays this new generation you can see that the moral decline is very high we have to fight and keep that thing up to prevent us from going wayward this channel is right here to do that thank you for staying tuned peace shalom god bless you bye bye